Good morning, folks. It's February 9th, and this is episode one of my build of the Wingnut Wings SE5A. I don't know how many episodes we're going to have here. I don't know how long it's going to take me to do this build. I'm not even sure I can promise that I will number the episodes sequentially. I don't tend to look back on prior episodes all that often. Okay, I opened up box number two this morning and had a pleasant surprise. It turned out that quite some time ago, I had painted up two 132nd scale resin pilots, British resin pilots made by Copper State Models. I hadn't decided which one I was going to use for the SE5A, put them in little plastic baggies and I put them inside box number two and promptly forgot about them. The fellow with his arm raised is Reginald and um, this is Nigel over here on the right. And I even recall that I might have conducted a poll, I don't know, when I painted these two figures saying, which one should I use? I don't remember the results of the poll and I still don't know which one I'm going to use. I have a feeling it will probably be a little bit easier to fit uh, Nigel here with his arms down. I could be wrong about that. Uh, but uh, I think they'll add something. Of course, if you put a pilot figure in a Wingnut Wings cockpit, you block out <laughs> even more of the incredible detail. But so be it. I like my planes with pilots. The second thing I noticed was, yeah, um, Wingnut Wings kits in general, at least the Scouts, are a little bit light on PE parts. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, but um, all that came with the kit for PE were uh, belts and uh, gun sight and one other item there, number six. Not sure exactly what that is, but again, I haven't looked at the instructions recently. Okay, I'm not terribly disappointed about that because I found in the box as well as these two guys, I had ordered a bunch of other stuff probably around the time that I got this box and uh, some of the other things that were in the box. There's a whole series of these flat rigging wires, photo etched stainless steel, they're listed as one for, they're from SBS model, and they're made in Hungary, and they're listed as 148th scale, but actually given the width between uh, 3 tenths and 0.35 millimeters, they're really about the right uh, size for a 132nd scale fig, uh, plane. And uh, as I think most folks know, I think most of the British planes tended to use a flat rigging wire. I believe I used this product on my Wingnut Wing Sop with Pup, which is downstairs. So I've got plenty of this stuff, and I will be using it for the undercarriage, for around the cabane struts, for the wings, uh, for the bracing wire on the back tail, but not for the control elements, uh, you know, control lines. There I'll use probably um, that easy line. Okay, well, wait, there's more. I also ordered this incredible package of stuff, uh, SE5 Kisso uh, from HGW. Well, I didn't have much PE. Now I've got an overwhelming amount of PE add-ons. Should I choose to use them? I bought this. I didn't check the price of what I paid. There's a lot of stuff here. And not only is there PE, uh, small stuff, 
for the seat belts, big stuff for the engine compartment and various other places, uh, frames uh, that looks fantastic, but there's also decals, transparent for the dashboard or the uh, instrument panel. There's uh, masking, pre-scribed uh, masking. And then there's this stuff, which you use in conjunction with the seat belts, the metal buckles there, to create textured belts for the pilot. But wait, there's more. Yeah, there's even more. Okay, here's some more. There is a ton, a ton of PE that's available through HGW that I invested in. And uh, thank goodness, thank goodness, there's even uh, four pages. Yeah, four, four pages of instructions, good, as opposed to just a, a uh, this little sheet <laughs> and letting you figure it out. Uh, so it shows how to put all this fancy stuff and where it goes on the Wing Not Wings kit. Uh, as if the kit isn't a challenge enough. But um, if I can make all of this work, it could be a pretty good model. Uh, well, it's, it's a good model. Let's see if it's a Let's see what we do with completion. Uh, so, it was some happy discoveries, and uh, I guess I will get to uh, taking the trees, sprues out, and starting to snip parts, and uh, trim them, and maybe start the assembly is uh, almost always of the cockpit area with the wing nut wings as the first step. I, I think I glanced at the uh, booklet and that's where we will begin. So. Reginald and Nigel say bid you adieu for the moment.